mighty man Kevin and his woman with us. What, what we're doing is we're riding down through here, really just kind of scouting around and looking. And if I get a shot on a deer, I'm gonna jump out, get in legal range and try to shoot it. We're gonna go down here to an old ghost town and try to catch a bass right quick at least. Hey guys, it got dark on us. We got a late start. Basically, just me running my trap, and uh, we're down here in Prince. We, we might go down there in the dark here in a minute. We still might go explore it. But what I'm going to do, the last time I fished this boat ramp right here was almost. Oh, it was early in my channel, and I stood right here at the end of November and caught a big old smallmouth. Hell, I'd say the river's down 15 feet. I got a Motorola green crawl, Z-Man crawl, and a lifted jig head. And that Motorola, what I'm hoping will happen will, the reason why I'm using that Motorola green just to hopefully they can see it a little better and that white jig head. I'm gonna walk up this bank a little bit, guys. And then we'll go down to the ghost town. Might as well explore it in the dark. What I'm doing here. I'm just gonna walk up this bank here a little bit and uh, yeah, right here's, right here's the carp hole. Right here, these carp are here. Y'all ready to go ghost hunting? Okay. Oh, uh, faithful. All right, guys, let's get this stuff cleaned up. I'll see you at the ghost town. You just seen us leave the river down there. We spent about 30 minutes. But what we're going to do now, I think the name of this place is Harmon. Nope. Its name is Hamlet, not Harmon. And I'll, you'll, you'll probably see some uh, pictures and stuff along this segment of how they dismantled the railroad trestle in this town and took it out of here for the war effort. Okay, guys, what I'm going to do right here, I'm just going to roll through a little slideshow here for you uh, just to give you a little bit of an idea of what this place looked like back in the day. The mills closed, the towns, and the narrow gauge of the rail line, they just kind of, everything was abandoned, and the entire metal section of the bridge that was that once connected Glade to Hamlet was recycled for uh, World War II. But here's a few pictures just to give you an idea. It's... It's nice down in here, guys. It really is. I suggest you, you come down here and check it out. It's easy to get around. It's level. Uh, it's 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 a it's a good way to kill a couple hours on my stuff. Guys, right here is a little bit of information on the place, the gorge information. Now, this is Glade Creek coming out of the top of where Little Beaver is up there. You can kind of jump over the hill and come right down this holler and come out down here in Glade Creek. It's also, our water supply for Beckley. Glade Creek's been stocked twice in the past couple weeks with brood trout, guys. I gotta get down here and catch some of them. I've never had one of those. Yeah. We're gonna walk right through and abandon the ghost. Town. Guys, we're legit going into the woods. Right, guys, so. right here. You can see how the bridge, this wooden walkway, 
has been built on top of this frame. They dismantled this bridge for the war effort. The main trestle is dismantled too down here on the river. All right, guys. We're venturing into the woods now, though. This. It's pitch black around here too. The only light you got is the uh, the stars. So guys, I'm gonna put you away if something creepy, crazy, abnormal, unnormal, paranormal happens. I'll turn the light back on. That moss right there makes you such a nice pillow and a bed to lay in. All right, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to cut this camera off and we're going to listen for a few minutes. We're going to sit in the dark, relax, and listen. <laughs> Look here, what an oak tree. Mm -hmm. Big old prehistoric oak, man. Yes, sir, that's an old tree. That lightning has hit and laid it down just as pretty as you please. Mm -hmm. See here the evidence of the of the fire okay. where it was burning? Yep. See here, guys? That's the only thing to bring down a mammoth like that right there. Yeah, lightning. You can see where it was on fire. Yep. Right there's a place where it hit that tree going over. Mm -hmm. Peeled the bark off. Sure did. That looks like stuff over there. That'd be a good picture to stand in front of, wouldn't it? Hell yeah. There's a whole breakdown about this place somewhere. I know, I read it. I just can't remember where it's at. Guys, this is a real nice place down here at the mouth of Glade Creek. You know, you got picnic tables, you got boardwalks. It's just a real nice spot. Somebody was here. Really? Yeah, he's right here somewhere. He can hear me. Who? Whoever was here at the truck. When we were walking back through, I seen their light. There's a light down there. At the river, I think. There was a light up no, in here. No, there was a light as we were coming up. Looked like it was walking down towards us. Really? Yep. Is everything in the truck? Yep. yep. All your stuff in the back? Yep. Everything? Yeah, your bags. Two bow. backpacks, a bow, everything, all my rod and reels. I run him down, by God. A minor setback, yep. first time in uh, 50 years. I left the fishing pole down here, was leaning against the rock, and we had to come and get it.